there. Let's, uh, let's do it. What I have here is a um, kind of an Allen wrench that I found at the house, Canal Street. And uh, you can tell, I don't know if this is going to focus correctly, probably not. But stamped into it is RB for Robin Bennett. And this is a um, machined um, custom Allen wrench. A hex wrench, anyway. It's uh, aluminum. And uh, I love the knurl. Um, I assume it went into a rotary machine to knurl that. And then, uh, presumably, at the end of the whole process, um, you put it up against a uh, grind wheel and uh, maybe even a polish wheel, and then stamped the uh, RB into it. Um, you can see it's got these nice kind of facets, you know, the down and uh, rim here. And uh, interestingly, on the end of this, there's lots of chatter marks. So, like. I don't know if that was finished with a chisel or some kind of hand tool. Um, it may have been started with something, but it's kind of flat on the thing. It's pretty flat. And then there's this dome that uh, I'm not 100% sure how it was done. If I had found this uh, when Dad was still alive, I would have asked him everything about how this was made. This was either made... Um, either made during high school metal shop or um, I suspect actually it may have been an early project at uh, um, I think it was George Brown College uh, where he was taking uh, kind of engineering courses uh, draw, drafting, drawing um, I'm not sure initially I thought perhaps high school but uh, it's pretty goddamn bitching for high school, you know. Even though it's not perfect and it's got some rough edges and stuff, um, I don't know. Maybe high school is much better in the, uh, you know, in the early '60s, mid '60s. No, early '60s. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. I, I, I was scared that I'd lost it because um, I thought I had brought it back with me after our trip in um, uh, May of 2015. For whatever reason, I thought I had packed this, uh, but it turns out I had packed it in one of the boxes. And uh, Mom's been bringing over some of the boxes because she's got a, she's got a new house. And... Um, so she needs to rid herself of the stuff that came from uh, Canal Street. So I was really glad to get re because I, I was worried that I just I didn't know where it was and I thought well I'm sure I brought it back with me but uh, um, I have to admit I mean not just the nostalgia of being a dad piece but uh, it feels really neat. I've got it next to my uh, computer um, console and. Um, I often just pick it up and feel it. Like the knurl is neat and it, it feels good in the hand. I'm not sure with it being um, fully axial that it would that you could apply a lot of torque to it. But it would it would you know it would it would tighten down and loosen fasteners I suppose. But um, I, I don't know that you could get any good you know reef on it if you needed to. But for that you might need a right angle to get some good leverage action. But uh, you know I, I would say it's probably just a metal shop uh, project and it needed to be functional and it I, I think it's really pretty see if you can get the stamp there it's, it's obviously a impact it's an impact stamp for sure yeah. the bottom of the bead didn't come out that good it kind of looks almost like well it wants to be but the bottom of it didn't didn't get a good pressure so but yeah, the neural it just feels good. It feels good in the hand. It's, it's well, it's got some heft to it, but it's light. You can tell it's aluminum. Uh, anyway, this thing uh, it's kind of it's 
ridiculously uh, special in some way. You know, something that dad, you know, kind of handmade or machine made or whatever. But uh, it's one of those things I, I wish I could ask him what to, what the hell was up with it and uh, whether it maybe had a very specific purpose and not just a general purpose uh, X wrench. And he was that kind of guy, you know, sometimes he'd just say, well, I'm going to do a project, I'm going to do something that's, like, highly usable, and uh, maybe it did have, like, a uh, specific purpose back in the day. Anyway, let's see if this works. Um, this is not a very good focus point for um, GoPros, so might have to do a second take, I don't know. Anyway, that's it for, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.